Hey everybody, this time around the question is, what's the deal with guns? Now, the person who sent in the question actually sent in a much more detailed and well thought out uh, question, a series of questions really, but I wanted to boil it down for the sake of a title on the video and just to sort of make sure we're all starting on the same page. The question that they sent in had to do with the idea of how do you feel about people who keep guns around for quote unquote fun, for example, what is that all about? And and similarly, what about people who seem to be pretty safe in their neighborhood, in their situation, in their gated community, but feel like they need guns for protection? And what does that say about their personality and that kind of thing? And the question was very well thought out and very deep. As I start to answer this question, I want to agree with you on a couple of things. First of all, here's the idea that, that I want to start with. Heroes are people who have fear, because everybody has fear in one way or another, because part of this life experience has to do with going out and facing the unknown. Everybody deals with fear. Our job is not to be free from it. Our job is to face it and deal with it. Heroes have fear, just like everybody else. But the thing that makes a hero a hero is that they don't let themselves be defined by their fear. Fear doesn't dictate their actions. Instead, love, passion, a desire for truth and justice and all of that, that's what drives their action and defines their character and all that. They feel the fear, but they do the right thing anyway. That's a pretty good, tight definition of what it is to be a hero, right? Can we agree on that? That's an important place to start. So put that in your pocket for a second. I'll get back to it. The idea about keeping guns for fun, I might not be the right guy to answer that question because I never understood that. It doesn't make any sense to me. And in fact, I have pretty strong feelings about the whole gun thing in general. If you know me at all, you know that when my kids were small, I wouldn't even let them go over to somebody's house to play if I knew there were guns in that house. Doesn't matter if they're in a safe or whatever. If there's a gun in the house, my kids don't go there. As I got a little bit older, I decided I'm not going in a house like that. As I got a little bit older, I've decided, and I still do this to this day, I will not shop in a store that sells guns. They don't get my money if they sell those things. I feel pretty strongly about it, and I'm certainly not judging somebody else if they deal with it differently. It's not a judgment for you. It's how I do things. But just to be fair, that's my bias. That's where I'm coming from. But, you know, the deal is, if you're talking about somebody who has weapons for fun, imagine you went over to somebody's house and they said, this is my chainsaw room and I keep all my chainsaws in here and I like to spend my free time oiling them and polishing them up and I have a chainsaw rack in my car and I go to chainsaw shows and I watch chainsaw videos on YouTube. Would you run away or just quietly back away and call the cops? It's weird, right? In my mind, I don't see how it's different. I don't get the idea that that's fun. It seems like a funny thing to me, but we can get into a deeper thing here, right? Look, we can talk about facts and figures all day long. The truth is that there just aren't a lot of stories about the burglar came into the house and I had a gun and I just quietly marched them off to jail. That doesn't happen very often. And even if it did happen from time to time, it is so far outweighed by the tales of mistaken identity and tragedy and heartbreak. And when you produce a gun, it escalated the conflict and somebody got hurt when they weren't going to get hurt before. And all of these nightmare scenarios of kids finding guns and everything, there is no way that that anywhere close to balances out. It just doesn't happen. The numbers aren't there. If you want to talk about numbers, think about the fact that no other country that has our level of technology, our level of, let's say, judicial system, access to health care, access to education, infrastructure, however you want to look at that, no other country has gun laws the way that we do in America, and no other country has anywhere near the numbers of gun violence and deaths and all of those bad things. The numbers just aren't in favor of having guns everywhere. It's just not cool. And that's the thing. It's not cool. If I see somebody walking around with a gun at Target, I leave the store because I think that person has made some weird choices. I don't want to be around it. That's how I feel about that. But the thing is, numbers and facts and figures aren't what's going to win the day here. Let's think about the story, the narrative, the myth around that. Like I said before, a hero is someone who faces their fear but doesn't let fear dictate their behavior. 
if somebody says to me that they have to have a gun in order to feel safe, what I see is here is someone that is so afraid of losing their possessions, of losing their comfort zone, that they are willing that another human being could get hurt or killed so that they can feel safe. That doesn't sound like heroism. That sounds like the opposite thing. That sounds like cowardice. I'm so afraid that I'm willing that someone else could get hurt. That, spiritually speaking, is not cool. You think Jesus would carry a sidearm? Come on. You know better than that. So, do I think that if somebody has a gun that they're a bad person? No. I think that there's someone who's afraid. And if we're going to make this world a better place, we're going to get to the place where we face our fears like heroes and we move forward in love. Don't let your fear dictate your behavior. If you see somebody with a gun, what they really need is probably a hug, but approach them carefully because they're scared. That's how I feel about it. I'm curious how you feel about it. Let me know. But more than that, keep the questions coming. This was a really good question. It came to me through Instagram, and you can send me a message on Instagram, or you can post to Instagram or Twitter with the hashtag AskDieter. You can go to my website, waypastok.com, and post a question on the uh, contact page and all that kind of stuff. But one way or another, keep them coming. Keep on working on this stuff together. Keep on standing up for love. Keep on facing your fears and doing it anyway. As always, I'd love for you to like and subscribe and share. That's a big deal. It means everything. You got this.